After a recent experience with a new grinder that ended up being less than ideal, the topic of burr seasoning has been on my mind. Depending on who you ask, the definitions can vary, from just oiling up the burrs in the chamber for smoother grinding and lower retention, to wearing in the harsh angles and corners on a new set of burrs for a more uniform grind distribution, which in turn results in better tasting coffee. But the differences don't even end there. The amount of coffee you'll need to grind through to be considered officially seasoned varies from one pound to 30 or even more. And as someone who's owned and tested a handful of new grinders over the years, I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to any of these theories. But today, that all changes. I'm going to put my original set of Mazarconi burrs from the niche up against a brand new pair fresh out of the box. To put that into perspective, this set has seen roughly two pounds of coffee per week for just over two years. So let's just say roughly 200 pounds of coffee, which is 1,440 pounds short of their lifespan according to Mazer. And this set of burrs has had absolutely zero. So in this video, in an effort to get a more well-rounded view of their differences or lack thereof, I'm going to test their taste and extraction percentage differences in both filter and espresso. And for my fellow visual learners, I'll run them both through the same sifter test to see their grind distribution. So now that you're hopefully as curious as I am, let's get into it. Since we're talking about brewing coffee and we're all just chasing the best possible tasting cup, I figured taste and extraction is a good place to begin. So let's start off with filter coffee. Using each pair of burrs, zeroed and set to 45, I brewed three standard V60s, each using 18 grams of coffee, 288 grams of water, a 40 gram 30 second bloom, a single phase pour, with a swirl during the final drawdown. The new burrs produced clean and sweet cups with subtle acidity. Running the same program on the seasoned burrs again produced clean and sweet cups, with a small boost in acidity being the only noteworthy difference. Interestingly, the seasoned burrs ran a bit faster, roughly 20 seconds. But when tested for extraction yield, the numbers were nearly identical between the burrs, with a max difference of 0.14% with the new burrs actually showing a very slight lead in extraction overall. Now let's switch gears and move to espresso. Much like the filter test, the burrs are swapped, zeroed, and set to the same point. On the seasoned burrs, I pulled a handful of shots using a 1 to 2 ratio, with 17 grams of coffee and 34 grams of yield in 24 seconds. In terms of taste, the shots were balanced with a mild acidity, and subtle nuances of fruit and chocolate I've come to expect from this coffee on the niche. Once again, I switched back to the new burrs, dosed out 17 grams, ground, and pulled the shot. But living up to espresso's true nature of volatility, the slightly faster brew time on the V60 with the new burrs translated to an 11 second shot of espresso. So I adjusted the grinder four notches finer to rein in the flow and pulled three more shots. Each shot produced cups equally as tasty as the seasoned burrs, with a noticeable bump in texture. Which honestly, surprisingly, I found myself preferring over the seasoned. So after pulling all the shots, testing and comparing the notes, it's clear that the new burrs actually outperformed the seasoned burrs by a significant margin, with nearly half a percent higher yields. After the somewhat underwhelming results when it comes to taste and extraction between the new and the seasoned burrs, I was hoping maybe the sifter would provide some kind of noteworthy difference. For the sifter tests, I ground 30 grams of coffee and used my Kruv with a 600 micron filter up top and a 250 down below. When switching burrs, the grinder will be zeroed and then adjusted to 45. Then it'll be sifted for three minutes straight and finally each layer will be weighed out. These tests should give us a clear view of which burrs, if any, are giving us the most consistent grind size distribution. So to give us a nice baseline, let's start with the seasoned burrs. The top coarse layer weighs out to 19.1 grams, the middle layer at 9.8, and the fine layer at 0.3. Now a quick swap to the fresh burrs and let's run it back. 
The top coarsest layer weighs out to 18.9 grams. The middle layer, 10.5, and the fine layer is 0.1. As you can see, they weren't all that far off from each other, leaving only 0.3 grams difference between their total outcomes, which could be chalked up to slight spillage or just a little bit of retention in the grinder or the sifter. Just sitting down and looking at the numbers, nothing major in terms of differences really jumps out. The gaps between the sifted grinds from the season to the new burrs are minimal, with the most being less than a gram. So in the end, there's a bit more to unpack here than I expected. And speaking of expectations, I thought based on the information and ideas out there around burr seasoning in general, that the older burrs would easily outperform the new ones. At the very least, in one category, whether it be taste, extraction, or grind size distribution. But to no avail. So it leaves me and probably you wondering, what's the point? Honestly, most people won't taste the difference. And unless you're writing a scientific dissertation on the actual surface area of each grind, I just don't see much if any benefit to the seasoning process. Of course, there very well could be and likely are differences that we could see on the coffee particles under a microscope based on the very real burr edge differences from a well-used set versus a new one. The only somewhat tangible difference here that I can see is that the seasoned burrs produce a little more ultrafines, which could explain the wider brew time differences between the espresso shot and the V60. Maybe the seasoned are doing more crushing while the new are doing more cutting, resulting in particles that are more consistent in the finer range on the new burrs, but that's just me thinking out loud. Of course, as I always say in videos like this, take the results as you will. I can't say definitively that this is gonna work the same in every single circumstance with every single grinder and every single set of burrs. But as someone who spends the majority of their waking hours dedicated to making minuscule incremental changes in the pursuit of brewing a better cup of coffee, it feels like seasoning is a waste of time and coffee, and both of which aren't an infinite supply. And with that little existential nugget of wisdom, I'm gonna wrap this one up and pass the debate onto the comment section, who I'm sure will not disappoint. So drop your thoughts on seasoning burrs and your experiences with it, and any other questions you may have regarding grinders, burrs, seasonings, or whatever else might go along with this topic in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram, at Spromethius, for content throughout the week my blog at Sprometheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.